definitely don't quit your day job right away. <laughs> give yourself, <laughs> give yourself, you know, a goal, whether, you know, give yourself a time limit, whether it be, all right, well, you know, three months from now, I want to do this full time. Six months from now, I want to do this full time. We two years in and nobody's still doing it full time. So it definitely, you know, it takes patience. Headed to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids on property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons here, back with another great interview for you guys. Today's guest is actual family, y'all. So I got <laughs> I got my actual family on here. I'm so excited and I'm so proud. Her and, and her brother, and I'm going to say the name in a minute, but her and her brother, they, they came together, decided they're going to start this company. They're trying to build a legacy. And so I had to get them on here. So without further ado, please welcome my cousin, Miss Tiffany Harris. What's up, Tiff? Hey, hey, y'all. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Now, before we go further into the cleaning business, we got to go to you. So if you don't mind, just let's rewind a little bit and talk about who you are, where you're from and all that. Oh, so I'm originally from Virginia Beach, moved up to Richmond. Um, Richmond has a lot of small businesses, Black owners. So that's what really drew us in to do like the cleaning business, especially during coronavirus pandemic. Um It's just like a more like a sanitation thing. Um, some people, you know, they, they got unorganized during the pandemic so it helps them organize themselves and it gives you that good mental space when you got somebody else cleaning for you because mm -hmm. a lot of people with cleaning is so when you have a professional cleaner in your house they be like oh I never even thought about that you know baseboards high high ceilings you know um just different stuff like that um also like cobwebs and stuff like that people don't understand that it definitely clears your mental space when you you got a professional cleaner in the house or the the um wherever you work at all right. So what made you want to even get into the cleaning industry? So what made me want to get into the cleaning industry is I used to work for a company, um, a cleaning company called the May Crew. And he would pay us hourly to clean these residential and commercial, um, do these residential and commercial cleanings. Mm -hmm. And I saw the invoices on how much he was making off of those. And he was not paying us nowhere near what he was making. Like I saw the invoice on what they were charging. I'm like, yeah, we're not even making that. So it was it was that also uh, cleaning is just like a naturally satisfying thing for me. Um, it just it just comes with me from growing up with my mom. You know how my mom. Right. So <laughs> growing up with them, you know, it's just oddly satisfying to clean. Like and it's it's just like I, I care for people a lot. Like a lot of my like my strengths, I I really do like care for people and stuff like that. There's a lot of. Um, there's an older crowd in certain areas of Richmond where people, they really, they're not mobile like that, you know, and they don't have anybody to, you know, get down bathtubs and clean or their kitchen is not as clean as they thought. And they wonder why they have a problem. So, you know, when you have a professional and people that's like, um, that's experienced in cleaning, it, it really does make a difference, you know? That's what's up. Shout out to Aunt Debbie, by the way. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, was, I mean, getting you cleaning, right? <laughs> sweeping rugs guys we know yeah. but, <laughs> so you guys chose to do residential and commercial mm -hmm. okay why didn't you just two go like what made you want to go out to both of them to 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 uh expand our options there's a lot of like i said in richmond there's a lot of small black owned businesses and we support each other in different ways they support me i support them and then like i said the residential cleaning kind of branched off of that because people would come in see us cleaning we would have our like logo t-shirts on with our business cards with us. So they would, you know, ask for us to clean their house. And that's how that branched off from there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a lot more money doing commercial cleaning, but with commercial, like I said, we charge hourly. So, mm -hmm. and also the commercial cleaning requires more. Um, so they require you to be there more often, maybe mm -hmm. once or twice a week. So that's, that's, that's what, what that was based off of. There's also a lot of like downtown apartments down here in Richmond. So we try to shoot for them where they have like common areas, like their hallways, their lobbies, things like that, right. that need to be done often all the time. 
Gotcha. Now you said something important on that last answer. You said that you saw the invoice of what the guy was charging to the customer versus what he was paying you. Now that was big because it always made me, that's basically like the definition of know your work, right? So people be like, know your worth, know your work. But it's like, well, it depends. Like everybody ain't worth a million dollars, right? So right. for example, you see what I'm saying? So in this trade, what you basically learned by seeing that invoice was, bam, I'm getting, I mean, what, 500 he charging them a thousand so really I, what i'm doing is worth a, lot, a thousand at least so i should be getting that you see what i'm saying so, yeah not, he's probably giving us not like 23 percent. like <laughs> yeah yeah we got to get up out of there <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so that's one of the things i try to teach too is i'll all, every job i ever get if i'm hiring i'm gonna pay the people more like they getting 60 i'm getting 40 or they getting 70 i'm getting 30 percent because if the people like if you just pay your people properly, you know what I mean, nine times out of ten, they're gonna stay long term and they're gonna do a good job because it's like they're getting paid well. You know what I mean? So just a little nugget I wanted to make sure that the audience picked up on when you said that. Yep, build a good rapport, man. For sure, for sure. So all right, let me ask you this. So how did you know how to charge when you first got started? We used the, the calculator that you gave us, the cleaning okay. business. <laughs> um, and then to kind of make it simple, like I said, I I I know some of these people on a personal level so um me and my you know me and my cleaning partner Isaiah shout out to Isaiah Glover we um we'll just give them a flat rate of you know a hundred dollars you know a hundred dollars an hour because it's two of us so that's fifty dollars an hour we split it might take us two hours might take us two and a half hours something like that um that's what we did as far as commercial we just charge hourly and then if we try to get the you know the fifty dollars an hour mark. Gotcha. Now, what is this like? This what you you doing is full time right now, or is it like you running the business on the side, or this is your full time thing? Um, I'm running it on the side because I work. Mm-hmm. I do work full time. Um, mm-hmm. a lot of the cleanings are you know once a week. We have a set schedule. Um, a lot of the commercial cleanings is once a week, mm-hmm. and then the residential cleanings they have been either once a month or kind of like an on call thing. To be honest, right. Um, but it's been it's been pretty steady. Like we've established a lot in two years. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like in two years, like it was started out kind of slow because you know it was the pandemic. People finances wasn't right. They was really trying to figure out how to get through the day. But now people are more comfortable, and you know they're just too busy to keep their space clean. So, right. so that's interesting too. So y'all started in the pandemic. So. I always say that this industry is, is recession proof because believe it or not, no matter what, people always need the buildings clean. You know what I mean? Even at residential side sometimes, like people still got to get it done. Like you said, some of the elderly people can't even, you know what I mean, get their stuff clean. So would you say that it was like a struggle getting customers in the pandemic? If you compared it to now getting customers, was it easier or the same or harder? Now, um, I would I would say it's about the same. Um, the reason why we didn't get like it started out slow is because mm-hmm. for one, we're just open up the business, so we have the understanding that it's going to start out slow. For two, I honestly could say between um, my business partner and I, we could have promoted a little bit more. We was also you know dealing with the pandemic and things like that, but we also we could have networked a little bit more. So it's been about the same, okay. but now, yeah, it's, it's been about the same, um, maybe a little, like we probably get more business now because more people come to us and ask us to clean versus us going out, trying to sell ourselves. Right. So really the pandemic ain't make a difference what I think I hear. So no excuse y'all, recession proof <laughs> business. Know what I mean? All right. So now you mentioned your partner. Let's talk about the partner a little bit. Who's the partner? What's the roles? How y'all do it? So um, Amari and I, Amari is my biological brother. We 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 own the business. Um, we do. I do have a partner because I'm out there in the field cleaning, doing the labor. My partner is Isaiah, my long term best friend. We've been friends for over ten years. You know, we we locked in. So we we go out and do the cleanings ourselves. Um, he's even tried to like, you know, expand a little bit. Like, yeah, I clean your car up, something like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't messing with nobody with, but yeah, we, 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 we got this residential commercial thing locked down. Me and Isaiah both, you know, we, we, we have meetings every week. We talk about who's going to do what. And, you know, we just alternate like that. The communication is, is a big key between the both of us. Like, so you definitely got to keep that friendship relationship going. Don't let the business come from your friendship. But the thing, the fact that we are friends and we, you know, we get along, it does help out a lot. 
Yeah, that's what's you up. Know, so you can't trust strange people because you got if you do hire like someone like strange, you have to train them. So you, yeah. you know, like you do have to take that responsibility of training somebody else. Facts, facts. Okay, so would you say because a lot of people say you can't do business with family or you can't do business with friends, you shouldn't mix what personal with business. What's your response to that based on you know I mean what you just said? It's possible. It's possible. Um, you just you you gotta you gotta know your levels. You gotta know your lane. You gotta stay in your lane, and you definitely gotta keep business separated from family like issues. But right. y'all can you can come together. Like me and my brother are not close in age, yeah. but we're when it comes to like business, making money, or like some real stuff, like we can come together. And that's just I don't know if it's like in our just in our personality, but it's it's possible with yeah. anybody. For real, for real. I agree. I agree. Now, what would you say has been, I guess, the easiest way for y'all to get customers so far? Business cards, social media, um, word of mouth. That's what's up. Basically, everything. <laughs> right? Put yourself out there, right? <laughs> Put yourself out there. I mean, and be patient, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, we have our slow months. And then we have our months where we like, hold on, wait, we got to, you know, actually put this in like you know schedule this in because like the last couple months have been busy and it's been a blessing because I I don't I wasn't working full time the last couple of months but um it's just you know that you're gonna have your slow months and you're gonna have your, your 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 speed months and I figure I think the seasons it depends on the seasons people mm-hmm. like to do the spring cleaning thing Winter time, not so much. Maybe around the holidays, if you get like certain people that have gatherings at their house around the holidays, you might do something like that. But it's like springtime and summertime is booming. Okay. Now, what would you say has been the hardest part of growing the business so far? Um, having customers uh just locking signing the contract. Yeah. <laughs> they they hear <laughs> price and they don't, you know, they'd be like, Can I just call you? And it's like, no, you got to you got to get on the contract because, you know, my money counts like I need to count on this just like you counting on me. So it's, it's getting them to sign the contract. Gotcha. gotcha. But once they do our work, they locked in. What advice would you add? Would you give to somebody that has a day job right now? But they, they think about, you know what, I'm going to start me a cleaning company on the side, too, for some extra cash. Like what advice could you give that person because they're trying to figure out how would it work? I would tell them definitely don't quit your day job right away. Give <laughs> yeah. yourself <laughs> Give yourself, you know, a goal, whether, you know, give yourself a time limit, whether it be, all right, well, you know, three months from now, I want to do this full time. Six months from now, I want to do this full time. We two years in and nobody's still doing it full time. So it definitely, you know, it takes patience, you know, and things like that. And like I said, you know, put yourself out there, network, network, network. We we didn't start out doing that, but we're doing it more now and I see more business coming in. So, you know, definitely network. Don't quit your day job. Definitely. <laughs> and then, you know, you got to make time, too. It's been times where I work my day job, don't go do a cleaning job and do another cleaning job after that. So it's been, you know, I didn't had 22 hour days, but I'm getting to it. But now, how do you see what like what is what is your vision for 10 years from now for your company? Oh, we're going to have an office. We're going to have our own clean like our We're going to have our own type of vacuum. Our vacuum going to do something different. <laughs> OK, <laughs> we, I even have a company car with the logo on the side before 10 years though yeah but 10 years from now i expect it to be you know a lot more you know um like everything is more compact like everything like because it's another thing you carrying a lot of stuff so it's like we might can get some you know some three and ones going to get mm-hmm. more work done in less time or you know we might even come up with our own like i told you my brother was um my little brother um, my business partner, Isaiah, he was talking about cleaning cars. He came up with making our own, you know, air freshener. Right. I thought that was a good idea. You know, yeah. come the crisp and clean little car fresheners that hang up in the window. Right. Something like that. That's what's up. I love it. So got crisp and clean and stickers. We leave stickers on people, on people refrigerator without even asking. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a promotion for sure. Now, crisp and clean. So that's y'all name, right? So somebody new might be looking at me like dang i don't even know how to come up with a name so how did y'all come up with y'all name isaiah um so isaiah came up with the name crisp and clean um i'm to be honest i'm not really sure how he came up with that name but it definitely clicked when we said it, people be like oh then our logo got like the blue um with the city with the city 
the city in the background because we live in a small city. Richmond is a small city, a lot of tall buildings, things like that. So, you know, the crisp and clean, it, it's just an eye catcher. I don't know what it is about it. People hear that. They be like, oh, y'all sound legit. I don't know how you came up with it. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, back. So I'm going to switch gears a little bit. I'm going to jump into this lightning round. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a word or a phrase. And you just say the same thing, the first thing that comes to your mind. So you ready? Yeah. All right, but here we go. The first word is Virginia Beach. Water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Richmond. Small black businesses. Okay. Uh, cleaning business. Sanitation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, partnership. Communication. Development. Facts. All right. Uh, your biggest motivation to keep going. Caring for people and money, for sure. <laughs> facts. <laughs> facts, though. That's big fact. All right. Um, your favorite book or movie? My favorite book is is, is a current is a current one, You Owe You by Eric Thomas. Okay, I love that. I love that. Okay. <laughs> um physical fitness. Are you asking me this for real? Everything. Mental, mental <laughs> balance. Um, just looking good. Um, I mean, everything. It helps you sleep, eat, appetite. Fit, fitness is life. But I love it. Now, let me, all right. This is side junk outside the other, other lightning round. So let's talk about, all right, my next word is going to be that. I'm going to do it in the lightning round. Marijuana. Life. <laughs> but, so now let's talk about it. So look, right. So how would you say that they like working out and stuff? How does it mesh for you? Um, so I smoke in moderation. I don't smoke before my workouts, but okay. smoking marijuana um, definitely is a reward for me when I'm done working out because it just goes perfect. I work out, I smoke, I eat, I go to bed. Right. Yeah, I'm convinced. That's why I asked you that too, because like I try, right? Because you know, I'm, I'm a drinker. So I, I tried to like switch it because I was like, well, because the, the problem with drink is with well, the next morning, I can't always handle this the way I'm supposed to. Right. So mm -hmm. I was like, fuck it. Maybe I switch the weed. But see, I, I'm kind of like either I get paranoid or two, it even affects my wind. So that's why I wanted to ask you, like, well, how do you do? But I, I, I think really what it seems like is some people it's, just got it and some people ain't. Or maybe it's a strand. I don't know. You know what I mean, yeah, it's no, it's honestly, it's not for everybody, no matter what you do. Like I've dated guys my age that's like hip to everything and they just don't smoke. And I, and I respect that. They'd be like, no, nah, I'd be, no, nah, I'd be tweaking. And I'd be like, well, I respect that. I, I'd rather for you not smoke than to smoke to try to be cool. And then you tweak. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> like They definitely drink though. Cause everybody got an outlet and my, yeah. like, I never had a problem not drinking. Like I drink socially in my family, you know, family social events, but once I, you know, once I got pregnant to stop drinking, like that wasn't a problem with me. I was like, okay, that's fine. Right. That's <laughs> now smoking, I need to stop, but <laughs> I don't know when this go. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Shit. All right, but all right, the next word is or phrase will be the best decision that you ever made in business so far. The best decision I ever made in business so far. I mean, really not giving up, like just building my knowledge. Um, you know, I'm I'm not, you know, like the most I didn't go to college or anything. I wasn't like the best in school. But once I got grown like this business shit, like I know that there's never ending knowledge. You can learn more. And I just I listen to other people. I'm a good listener. So I'll listen, you know, see what take other people advice. And I'm either going to take it and run with it or I'm going to leave it where it's at. But, you know always open to be coached i'm a coachable and you know i'm always willing to learn something new that's what's up all right next word is social media social media is easy easy platform to promote yourself um is is the new thing um the, the the generation now a lot of people are getting rich off of social media so facts the big facts all right um uh, favorite music genre 90s early 2000s Okay, like anything, like hip hop, R and B, uh, anything. No, I mean, they don't know. I know, but they, I mean, the audience got to know. Look. 
hip hop, <laughs> R&B, jerseys, okay. headbands, but, you know, the, the safe music, the safe hip hop, <laughs> <laughs> the, the non, the ones where they wasn't announcing that they was on drugs. Facts. Is, the party, you know, we go to the club with my homeboys type. That's what's up. And then I'm the right. R&B feels, you know, the cleaning up music, you know, the clean music, you know what that, you know what that's like. <laughs> Facts. All <laughs> right, bad. Well, to follow it up then and to wrap up this lightning round, I got to ask you your top five favorite artists of all time. Top five favorite artists? Yep. All right, yeah. so we're going to go ahead and get Nelly out the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. If y'all don't know, she is the <laughs> Nelly advocate. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, Snoop Dogg. Okay. Snoop is my guy. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, one of the newer people, Young Thug. I look up, I like Young Thug. Young Thug is my guy. Um, and let's find some R and B. Mary J. Blige. Okay. <laughs> Mary J and um Damn. I think that was five though. But I want to hit one more anyway. <laughs> no, that ain't five. It won't fly. Want- we got Nelly, Snoop. Uh, I like Nelly. these multi-talented artists. So it's like, okay, I got Nelly, Snoop, Mary J. Um, I mean, I like, I do like Chris Brown. Chris Brown's okay. my guy. Okay, that's what's up. Shout out to Chris Brown, the hometown guy too. Right. <laughs> VA. <laughs> that's what's up. All right, but so what's next for Tiff? So what's next for me? Okay, well, I mean, I'm going to become a parent. My life is about to change. <laughs> um, I want, you know, to build a solid foundation for, you know, my family. Um, so with the whole business thing, I don't really plan on working for nobody um, for, for a very long time. Um, but I am, you know, consistent with, you know, working full time. Um, so, yeah, my next step is, you know, to become a parent, get this business up and rolling. So we have an office, you know, like I said, we might get a little cleaning a vehicle um, with our logo on there and really just become like a family business, business woman, family business woman. That's what's up, Tess. And congrats again on your logo. <laughs> too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So Crispin Clean, if somebody wanted to hire you guys up in Richmond, how could they reach out to you or, or, or you know, how could they hire you? So we're on all platforms, Instagram. We are, uh, we also have our own website, Crispin Clean rva.com no i'm sorry i'm taking that back info crisp and clean at rva.com and then um also yeah we have business cards you can contact me directly we have a business phone as well uh, our email is info at crisp and clean.com as well and yeah just ask about it <laughs> <laughs> we out here all right <laughs> facts all right you said y'all got a business phone though so now i know some of my listeners might wonder this so what did y'all use to get the uh the business phone number uh, app. <laughs> right. that. app so is, is, <laughs> did it cost was it free how y'all do it? it it was yeah it's a free app text text now free app as long as the, the number is being used you'll be able to use it for free for however long you want to um that app is only on my phone so you get to talk to me if you call that we go talk to me i'm gonna answer I answer the phone. I don't care. I don't care who it is. I don't, it could be Jesus calling. I mean, it, it might be Jesus calling. I'm going to answer. And I'm going to, we'll get you a quick quote. Um, of course, on, on most occasions we do have to do inspections. So, you know, just, you know, expect that as an answer. Like I can't give you a quote. I'm going to do an inspection and then I can quote you out within 24 hours. That's what's up. Hey, that's free game. Y'all should have told y'all how y'all can get a free company phone number while y'all out here about to see a whole, <laughs> know what I mean? Little stuff. That's a little stuff. That's why I wanted to ask you because I had a feeling you had to play for that. <laughs> All right. So if somebody watching this video right now and they like, you know what? I think I want to start a cleaning company too. But for whatever reason, they're scared to make that jump. What advice would you get that person? It's all like life is short. It's always best to try something. Try it out try it out, have patience. Like I said, we've been up and rolling for two years and like, it's not full, it's still not full time, but I love it. I like it. I like the the acknowledgement that we get. I like that people know about us and they can call us at any time to start, to start business. So, you know, just definitely, you know, go in with the plan, definitely plan, give yourself goals, monthly goals. I want to do this by this month. I want to be done with work by this by three, six months, 
and have patience. It's all about patience and continue to build your knowledge. Watch AJ videos. My brother be sending me your videos all the time. Like, and I, you know, I learned, I learned stuff off of there because it's like, off of a quick minute, you can learn three, four, five things that can get you a long way. So, you know, just be patient, you know, continue to look up stuff, use the internet, use social media. That's it. <laughs> look, get out there and go get it, y'all, man. How can we find your journey to, oh, excuse me, follow your journey? Oh, you can follow my journey on my personal Instagram page. It's at Murder Tiff Rope on Instagram. Um, you can also, like I said, you can um, get updates on our website, crispinclearva.com. And, you know, just just keep up. <laughs> keep up, up. <laughs> that's what's up tiffany harris crispin clean it was a pleasure i appreciate you coming on yes much love absolutely thank you thank you for watching my video and make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video because i know you did and also hit subscribe and right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell you gotta click that because guess what you never know when I'm going to go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos, all right? And if you want to start or grow your business, check out cleanbiznetwork.com, all right? We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also, don't forget to download the Calculated Clean mobile app as well, all right? So that's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video. Why not? Binge on it. Let's go.